Okay guys, so in this video we're going for the full eight notes of our major scale, but we're now going to play those same notes on the middle four strings. Now, to be able to play this one, I'd like you to know a C major chord. If you're not familiar with this C major chord, this may be something that you're going to find very tricky, and if that's something that you're not comfortable using in a song, this bit may be a bit more advanced for you, but it's still okay to have a go at it. I'm just showing you the level that you should be at to kind of take this on. What I would like you to know as well is that we have um, that same C note, the first note of your C major scale is the root notes of the chord and the first note of this scale. So the chord and the scale are going to be the same thing. In fact, if you're playing this C major chord, we uh, are already playing half of the notes that are in this scale and most of the other ones are just the open strings so that C major chord is really vital before you take this on um, again I'm gonna use the same fingering as this C major chord so any notes that happen on the first fret we're gonna use our first finger any notes that happen on the second fret we're gonna use our second finger third fret exactly the same and that's going to be exactly how it looks in the tab that accompanies this video so that third fret um, fifth string the C root note is that first three on the fifth line of the tab so that'll be the next one to the bottom um, and the tab is kind of upside down from how the guitar is strung so because this is a low note it's at the low side of the uh, of the tab but let's start off, make a start. So we have that first note, the third fret on the fifth string, our C note, the first note of our C chord. And then we go to open fourth string. So Do, Re, a C to a D. Then we have our middle finger at the second fret of that same string, of the fourth string. And that is our Do, Re, me C D E first three notes the fourth note is the next fret up so the third fret of that same string so correct fingering again I'm still using a pick from before you can rest it on the bottom of the guitar but it can be very handy at this level to start resting on your thumb side on the palm of your thumb and I have all my forearm resting against the guitar like this the next note after that fourth one is the open th uh, third string the G string one two three four five just as it says on the tab, the numbers wise, third fret, open D string, second fret, so a two, third fret, number three, open the sixth note, two on that same string, and then finally just two notes on the B string, on the second string, open to first fret and that takes us C to C which we call an octave and that first fret is also a note from our C major chord all in all just a quick recap as a demonstration and then we can also come down this set of notes as well in reverse order and it's knowing that order going ascending, so down the fretboard, and then descending, coming up the fretboard, but kind of down in pitch, um, that is so important to grasp before you go for too many melodies. Um, this is exactly the same as knowing your ABC when you're learning how to read and write as a child. So you'll know little words and bits and pieces before then, but until you know your ABC, very hard to make sense of the more complex stuff and to get a grasp of what's happening as a whole and to be able to grasp new words and things so that's what we want to be able to do so in reverse order 
as you can see on the tab now, it goes up the page and then back down the page. We've got the first set of notes that we've just learnt and then it goes down. Now that obviously makes it a much longer sequence but don't let that freak you out. Just take it one note at a time and go nice and steady. And this so let's come down in reverse order now. From our C notes, first fret of the second string to the open string, second fret on the third string to open, third fret, second fret, open, and finally third fret which is our C note, our first note of our C chord. Um, as long as you're not using your first finger for everything, I'm not going to be too critical at this stage of which fingers you're using. You can use the same fingers as each one or you can see that sometimes I'm using my first and second finger exclusively because it's more comfortable. Do whatever feels right for you because um, different people have stronger and weaker fingers and will learn to kind of train them all up to be able to do absolutely anything you want to do on guitar at a later stage but this is aimed to get you going, to, to start you off as the first bit of kind of music theory that you will uh, you will be playing. So as soon as you can do all the way up and then get it back down we want to again cycle that four times through which is a demonstration excuse me about that text I just got, I should have put my phone on silent before I started, as a demonstration of that we go up again trying not to let there be any gaps and go straight back. Now what some of the melodies will do in the rest of this course is start to blend these more and more. So they may run from the top part of this scale and then continue on into those first five notes that we learnt. But the way we need to learn this first from um, this point of view to keep everything nice and logical and um, in a certain formation, we need to learn it proportionate to the C chord first and from C to C so that this is something that we can then go on to um, plan out and so that we have a, a shape to kind of transfer as it were. Um, if you wish to then go on to carry on to play the next five notes, fantastic. Some of the chords, um, some of the songs, sorry, in this playlist are even going to go lower than those notes, but they're still going to be using just those letters, and they're all the naturals. So if you know your alphabet, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, there's no nasty sharps or flats, which is what makes this C major scale so fundamental and so important for us for your uh, for your guitar development. So try that four times through, making sure there's as few spaces and it's all as even as possible, but making sure there's as few spaces between the notes as possible, rather than sounding too much like this. Even if it's slow, in fact, especially when it's slow, Try and let there be as few of those spaces as possible and that's how we're going to get this sounding really good. Once you can do that, get straight onto the playlist of songs and the rest of this playlist that's going to be using um, the notes from here. We've got a couple of Fleetwood Mac tunes in this uh, playlist, so um, something that's going to be really, hopefully you guys are really going to like and um, get straight on to check out those videos. Please subscribe if you like what I do. And um, I'm sure I'll see you guys again. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.